Hi there, thanks for joining me. I'm doing a little bit of work in the Red Edith All Sorts book, The uh, the Refined. I'm sort of thinking grungy green and refined red. Uh, still going to be all Edith, but the red one's going to be a little bit more refined. Not too much. I can't do too refined. Um, but definitely the green one will be will be more like the sketchbook she took in the field and the red one will be more like what she transferred and did her finer work. Do you know what I mean? So, um, but for the red one, I decided I want to do a um, Dutch door for the front, the very first page. And I already got started on it and I thought, oh my goodness, I should turn my camera on. Um, because I got started and thought I promised I would show more of my work on this. So I, because I already cut this out, I this is the page. So it's page 29 of uh, the book that I'm, see I have several, I wasn't kidding when I said I have too many copies of this book. Never too many. <laughs> Kirby, go place, place. Lie down. Good girl. Sorry. We were just outside. Now I'm going to come down closer. Let's see. Just so you can see. I I cut this out. Um, I brought it in a little bit on all of the edges. So it's not quite as big. But it's still a good size. For a Dutch door, the kind that I make, usually I would go a little bit smaller but I really like this and I like the whole thing and this is let me read for you so you know what I'm why I'm enjoying this picture it's so peaceful it says a photograph of one of the lovely country lanes around Packwood House taken in June of 1892 where as a girl Edith used to walk with her family she also mentions the area frequently in her book Nature Notes so this is one of the areas that inspired her when she was uh, because it said on the other when I had to do my when I had to do my um King Solomon's choice of what gets to survive and what doesn't um Packwood Hall where near where they lived at the time um she uh she used it uh Edith loved to visit the place both as a child and later she says in nature notes in the garden of Packwood Hall adjoining the churchyard the borders were full of large clumps of single snowdrops. I brought I brought away many a bunch. Men, blah, 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 blah. I'm tongue tied here. Uh, I brought away a great bunch. So, as typical of nature naturalists, they bring them home, press them, and draw from them, sketch from them, paint from them. So. Uh, I love this, but I decided it needs a frame. I already have some pencil lines here where I thought I was going to just put that there, but I wanted some dark. I found this tossed into my um, I found this tossed into my offcuts, and that's a really nice brown and it goes nicely with this. Okay, she must need to go outside. We're going to, I'm going to pause and Kirby is going to have a powder powder room moment in the backyard. So it'll seem like a, the flashiest of flashes. Okay, so she was uh she was playing the boy who cried wolf. Cause, uh, there was uh there was nothing there. I'm just going to take this side of this off. Obviously, at some point for some book, it was going to be a folio. Did I just take a chunk out of that? No? Okay. Hmm. All right. 
so um, I want just a little border around this so she was hungry I gave her a little snack she won't eat kibble as a whole meal I have tried many times and people say oh if you give her nothing else she'll eat it eventually no she won't she will actually starve until she's throwing up bile <laughs> Um, I forget where I left off before we had to do our fake out in the backyard. Anyhow, <clears throat> I'm going to uh, use mostly glue stick. <coughs> Pardon me. I'm losing things here. Ah, another glue stick. They're everywhere. Anyhow, so. I'm just going to put a little bit of art glitter glue around the edge. And uh, plop it down. It doesn't have to be um, perfectly centered because I'm going to trim it. Oh. It would help though if it was over a little bit more. So I've got more room to trim. There we go. So sorry if that's, let's come back again. There we go. Sorry, I felt some of my glue there. Okay. So yes, it's the same day as if I end up showing, I did a video before this one and honest to goodness, I talked for 30 minutes and got one thing done. I, I cut a piece of tea dyed paper, a folio of tea dyed paper. That's all I got done and I talked for 30 minutes. Maybe I'm alone too much. <laughs> the funny thing is. As so many of you, you artsy people out there, you know, there is a huge difference between being alone and being lonely. Because I, I can't uh, explain it. I enjoy being alone. I enjoy my time alone. I should say it that way. So, let's see. don't like um, maybe it's hard because it's with dark but I find this um, difficult there we go okay and if I need to I'll come in a bit more Oh, she's playing with her kibble. I thought, what's the noise I hear? Yeah, it's her. She's turning into quite a character, this little lady. Okay, that's good. I'll worry about those corners last. No, nobody's there. There we go. I'm not the, uh, I don't have the finesse of these quilting rulers that my crush has. She can finagle these things around. Like, uh, with ease. And, uh, I don't do it with ease. Okay, see, I already think that's wider than I want. 
All right, I'm going to get my cutting board because I can eyeball this better than trying to see through this. And it could be that this is the wrong kind. The, the two colors are kind of bugging my eyes. It's yellow and black. Maybe it's because I need just black and clear. It could be that. But I'm not writing that off. But this I can work with. And I can eyeball it. And I feel comfortable with this. I feel like I can, even if it's not precise, I feel like I can get it close enough. As my mom would say, well, that's as close as darn is to swearing. <laughs> so I feel like I can, yeah, why didn't I do that the first time? And now we can do this. I don't know what to make for dinner tonight. It's just me and Kirby. And she's having dog food. I'm not sure what I will have. When it's just me, I tend to just get out a little mini frozen pizza or something healthy like that. All right. All right. Much happier. And it's close enough. out a bit more. I want that to about there for our little Dutch door. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do glue stick and our glitter glue. it is all right and a little art glitter glue around the edge just to give it a little extra strength paper on paper I'm just, I wager my Jesse the pressy on it uh, art glitter glue is the best for paper on paper. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, whew. there was glue on that, and I heard it. Come on, down you go. I took too long, didn't I? And you're thinking, hi, I don't want to, I don't feel like gluing down. Well, you're gluing down, even if I have to hold it up and sneak a little glue underneath. I will do it. Okay, so here's where it turns into what, and I learned this in the bullet journaling community, back from my days when I used to follow lots of bullet journalers, and I still follow a few of them, 
but many of them, many of them not so much anymore. This side's important that it stays down. It's going to be cut off, so I don't mind smearing it away in this direction because that's going to get cut off. So I don't mind smearing it in that direction away. But I don't want to get any on that. Is this... I really didn't get close, did I? No, Kirby. I think... I think my little sweetheart needs a good playtime. I have been up here a lot today. Let me finish this and we will go and have a playtime, okay? Or maybe a W-A-L-K. All right, so now this is where it's going to be a little tricky. If Let me come down a bit. I have pencil marks here and here. So this is where I'm going to need to be careful. I think my little Kirby wasn't fooling. I think she's now decided that yes, indeed she does need to go. Oh boy, it's just like with children. I gotta go potty. No, I don't. Yeah, I really do. How many of us parents have had that happen. You really, you really have to go? You're not just faking it this time? Well, maybe I am, but you know, sometimes you gotta fake it. Now, I didn't get quite close in there, and I'm just going to use my little scissors and take that. So there we go. There's what we call our Dutch door. Now let me show you what I mean. Here's the, the signature and it will go in there and then I'm going to put something in behind. And isn't that pretty? Let's come back. Look at that. So the 30 minutes I spent talking and I think I was able to get this done in 10 minutes. <laughs> and see this side journaling space so that's it's just a really nice way to have a front entry door for your uh, for your journal all right I'm going to take this little girl out again I think this time she's decided she really means it this time honest to goodness I really mean it I do have to go this time <laughs> oh puppies Thanks for joining me. We will talk soon.